Good morning, it's Friday, October the 29th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases, along with the halts at the open so you can all be prop from them, and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, it's Friday, it means we're getting ready to head into the weekend, hopefully catch some great NFL football, but before we do that, I've got four great press releases for you. Three from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side, and I've got one haul to report on in the second segment of the show. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story, and it's a big one. I haven't seen numbers like this in a very long, long time. comes out of a company called VMS Ventures. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol VMS. Disclaimer time, they aren't a Gorecom client. However, when you hear the numbers, you'll be blown away. The company is announcing uh, their latest drill and assay results. Uh, from holes number three and four, it's an infill program uh, from their drill program at the Reed Lake deposit near Snow Lake, Manitoba. Get this, folks. We've got hole number three, which returned 6.7% copper over 72 meters. So once again, 6.7% copper over 72 meters. That's a huge number. Great concentrations and a great intercept. We've also got hole number three, which returned 3.7% copper over 21%. Again, that's no slouch. So terrific results coming out of VMS this morning. It's the first phase of drilling at the Reed Lake project, and it's under a joint venture with none other than HUD Bay. They're one of the big boys in the area. Uh, they're also a publicly traded company on the TSX under the symbol HBM. So HUD Bay currently owns 70% in the joint venture interest, and HUD Bay holds 30%. A little bit about the company, they're focused primarily on acquiring, exploring, developing copper, zinc, gold, silver, massive sulfide deposits in the Flin Flon Snow Lake VMS belt of Manitoba. That's a mouthful. Companies last at 49 cents. After this news came out at approximately 327, the company jumped 60%. I think it's up from 30 cents up to 49 cents now. Uh, their high is 49 cents, so they're trading at their high. They've established that new 52 week high yesterday, and their low is 20 cents. Mark cap of approximately 56 million dollars. Moving on to our next company, Timberline. They trade on the TSX venture under the symbol TBR. They also trade on the New York Stock Exchange Amex under the symbol TLR. The company is announcing final drill results from a 2010 surface exploration drill program at their Butte Highlands joint venture property, which is located in Montana. It's it's a seven hole drill program and within that program we've got three holes within the mineralized envelope and the other four holes were drilled outside the envelope to test for potential extensions in the mineralized zone. Got some highlights here for you. Hole number two which returned three meters of 270 grams per ton of gold. The intercept isn't very big but the concentration is exceptional. We've got hole number 11 which returned 4.3 meters of 27 grams per ton of gold and hole number 12 which was four and a half meters of 26 grams per ton of gold so all in all uh, very respectable numbers a little bit about the company they're a u.s based exploration development company with focused on advanced stage precious metals properties last at a dollar 17 high of a dollar 45 low of nine cents mark cap of approximately 65 million dollars moving on to our next company peregrine or peregrine diamonds they trade on the tsx venture under the symbol pgd today they're announcing that they recovered a diamond in excess of one carat so it's actually 1.15 carat diamond and that's from an 840 kilogram micro diamond sample collected on the estimated five hectare ch31 kimberlite it's significant because it's the largest on there and uh, it, out of an 840 kilometer uh, 840 kilogram sample they yielded a total of 233 diamonds larger than 10 millimeters so not or 0.10 millimeters so not particularly big and included within that they've got five diamonds larger than the 0.85 millimeter sieve uh, company is last at two dollars and thirty five cents high of 274 low of a dollar 38 mark cap of approximately 87 million dollars and finally we've got metallico they trade on the new york stock exchange amex under the symbol MEA, they're announcing financial results. We've got year-over-year -year comparison of the third quarter 2009, which shows that they've got continued improving metrics. So I'll go over those highlights with you, which include sales increased 50% to $137 million. It's an increase of $45 million over the previous year. EBITDA rose 22% to $13.8 million. Operating income increased 25% to $9.6 million, and net income was $4.5 million, or $0.10 cents per diluted share, compared to $2.7 million year over year. A little bit about the company. They are a holding company with operations in two principal business segments, 
ferrous and non-ferrous scrap metal recycling and fabrication of lead-based products. They're last at 467, high of 709, low of 307, mark cap of approximately $217 million. We got one halt for you, Cressel Exploration. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol CXT. They are halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Have a tremendous weekend. Hopefully you have some fun with the family, the kids. Uh, get out there and have a safe and happy Halloween. It's taking place this Sunday. So we'll catch you again here on Monday. Uh, all the best.